people call transport a, a controversial subject. I don't see it as that. We've got to find ways to be using less energy, generating less carbon emissions. And technology, absolutely, is the answer to that. That's why we're here. We're pushing it every day to make sure that this technology becomes more relevant and is something which is going to help the society where we live in. With future technology, I really hope that we can get rid of all the, the fuel engines and you have a full electrified railway system. We think the cars going faster, we think cars going longer, we know we are making a difference. The cars we race will be the cars you drive. I think the prime reason for us investing in Formula E is to accelerate innovation. That's where I think what we're trying to do is push innovation that we can see every week. We need transport and the technology with electric vehicles, particularly the technology we're developing in Formula E, are really part of the building blocks that we have to use to improve the efficiency of transport. In railway, we have really similar goals than, than in Formula E. We are going for a high acceleration, for great braking power. Regenerative braking allows us to use the electric powertrain to slow the vehicle down, but by doing so, it recovers that energy, converts it back into electricity, and gives you an additional 30% of energy recovery. So that, across the board, would give us a massive energy saving worldwide. Using and not wasting the braking energy, that must be the overall challenge. If you give it back to your network, which acts as a battery, you reuse the, the braking energy to accelerate the train again. We don't have enough energy in Formula E to do the full race flat out. So we have developed every part of the car, optimising how we use the energy we have over the duration of the race. It's not necessarily the fastest car which wins, it's the most efficient car which wins the race. How do we ensure that we use minimum resource for maximum output? You have to introduce new semiconductors with less losses. You have to optimize your switching patterns and really improve the whole propulsion chain. Everything we learn, the technologies, the supply chain, are being used to develop electric vehicles and transport technologies around the world. Trains are the most uh, sustainable and environmental friendly way of transporting passengers and, and goods and it's our daily challenge to make it more efficient, more reliable, to make it better.